Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben, and today we have the Lefroig 10 years here on my cask, and it's a special Lefroig. It's a cask strength. Yes, I can remember the cask strength from when I was young. Not that I've tried it when I was young, like 15 or something like that, but I actually uh, picked the orders for the customers. Mm -hmm. And Lefroig was a tricky one because you had a Lefroig 0.7 liters and Lefroig 1 liter. And then you had the 0.7 10 years cask strength and the 1 liter cask strength 10 years. And so you had four different 10 year olds and you had to all check for the right Lefroig. So it was a bit of a, that was a bit of a tricky one. But the 10 year cask strength had a, a red seal yeah. line, line, something so on it. A line, yeah. yeah. But it wasn't the cask strength. What we know today, it was a high proof. So I think they reduced the strength to that constant value. I do not remember exactly. I think it was 57.1, something that, mm -hmm. uh, which resembled the old Imperial 100 proof. But uh, today we have a real cast strength. And uh, this is batch 12, printed here on the tube. And it's bottled February 2020. And here on the bottom is the 60.1 ABV, so it's 120.2 proof. So this is a real cast strength and the different batches you might see in the future will have different ABVs. Mm -hmm. probably. I think, probably. Um, so there are a few companies out there, a few distilleries, which have cast strength whiskies with always the same ABV and they just have to do a good job to mix up the <laughs> higher and lower proofs uh, to bring out that exact uh, strength as well as the exact taste they would like to have from batch to batch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the Lefroig 10 uh, cast strength, I think it's just a big brother from the normal 12, be uh, 10, because uh, it's only matured in bourbon cast. So it's probably really just uh, the same stuff as the 10 mm -hmm. with uh, just not diluted down. But there is a real, real advantage. This one is neither chill filtered nor colored. Mm. So this is a natural Lefroig and I'm happy to have one of those here. And the cork is that tight and very good. That's smoky <laughs> uh, already at the cork. So this time we have less. We tried just a lot <laughs> before we were able to take this, this video. There have been a few false trials. Yep, there have yeah. been a few misinformations <laughs> and a few <laughs> of, uh, yeah, misspeaking on our behalf. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> But it's a good whiskey, so I'm, I'm, I'm not really mad about being <laughs> <laughs> having to do it again. <laughs> yeah, so this is a real, real Lefroig. And uh, it's this intense smoke, peat smoke, together with a medicinal part in it. This phenolic hospital disinfection liquid smell. Wow. So this is intense, but not too intense. I'm, I'm just a little bit uh, wondering, this might not be more intense than the normal 10 year old. Hmm? I think it's a, a wonderful smoke and it's, it's a, it's a, it sounds strange, but it's a fresh smoke. So it's, a, it feels like smoke near the sea, seaweed. Ah, it's So you really do realize, or oh, I don't know if, if, if that's from the terrain or if they just made it that way, but it just feels like Isla. Yeah, and it just it feels smells like the island. That smell from the seas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Compared to the 10 year old. Yeah, I think it's a bit stronger. It's stronger in, in the taste, not in not in the smoke, I think, mm -hmm. but the complete, if you look at it and say, this is uncolored, mm -hmm. so it has to have a very fresh, good casks in it. 
Mm -hmm. I think I think they used good cares. Yeah. So I think you have diluted already. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just sixty take percent time. is just a bit too high for us. <laughs> yeah. So I'm down well below fifty, and now the marks are shining through. The legs running down the glass. Yeah, and now the smell of the smoke is more intense. Oh yeah, the, the undiluted one it was similar or maybe mm -hmm. a little bit stronger. But but now there is a, a fresh note in it, as you said. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it makes it also a bit more, I don't know, ri also the, the other flavors rise quite a lot. So you do have a little bit of sweetness. A little bit of a distillery character, like that, that fruitiness, a bit of a faint pear or citrus note or something like that. Some green fruits. And I have a smoky vanilla mm. below <laughs> that. And now there is <clears throat> uh, seizing fire. These, these shades, these <laughs> awkward smelling fumes coming from an extinguishing fire. Yeah, it's it's a it's a rough and tough one. <laughs> that, that's what what's all about with with Lafroig. It's it's a, a very marine, smoky, intense Isla whiskey. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Hmm. There's a sweet character in it as well. And after swallowing, there's the intensity of the alcohol and some cask influence, but this light sweetness in between. So the whiskey itself is very smooth because Lafroig has this very uh, necked uh, pot stills where the alcohol vapor brings a very constant, very calm, column in the still and divides uh, the fusel oils from the alcohols very well. So this is smooth, but there's a, a hint of the, alcohol, uh, of the alcohol in it, as well as a little bit from the cask. And the smoke is cladding your mouth. Mm -hmm. Extremely, yeah. Mm. When you have it in your mouth, the smoke is not that present. But as soon as you swallow, it just spreads around in your head and all around your mouth goes in your nasal systems and everything and you just realize oh that's a smoky i love whiskey yeah that's a that's a whiskey with some chest here mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. i like it and mm -hmm. i've hit the the abv quite nicely i like it that way i think i'm just below below 50. yeah me 48 too. something 46 yeah. something like that the one before, the tasting before, I had less. And I say, uh, you have to dilute it a little bit, mm. but not too much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it's priced in the mid-70s. Well, that's quite expensive, but it's cast strength. You ha have the chances to dilute, then you, you get more out of the bottle. And <coughs> it's uncolored, unchill filtered, so you get a higher quality in this whiskey. And it's you can see there are the better casks in it because it's darker without coloring. So this is a... I'm not quite sure how much they, they color with the other whiskeys. If, if I look much, at this think, one, yeah. then I think, yeah, they probably do it to uh, level out the batches a bit. Mm, yeah. But I don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe yeah, the, the, the other one is, is 40%. That will be a lot uh, lighter because of all the water they put in. Mm -hmm. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. But it's a good whiskey. So... Have a look, watch out for the Lafroy cask strength because it's out there on the market. And there will be uh, more batches in sequence, mm -hmm. but the differences between the batches, I think, will be not that big. Yeah, so yeah, for any expert who buys all the batches and tries <laughs> them next to each other, you will find a difference, definitely. But to everybody else who just enjoys a high strength marine Isla Lafroy whiskey, you'll not find it that different. So yeah, 
Thank you very much for watching. If you like these kind of videos, then please feel free to subscribe to this channel and see you next time.